everyone here today for this momentous occasion when we break ground. Uh, before we go any further, we've asked uh, a very good friend of uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Alex Carroll to offer the invocation. Uh, if Aaron, would you would you do that, please? Isn't it a marvelous day to be here? Shall we pray? Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day that you have given us. Sunshine and warmth and fellowship and love with one another. And Thank you for the privilege to be together and to plan some of the future for Connorsville. Ask you to touch each of us, touch our minds, touch our hearts, touch our spirits. Help us to have the attitude that we can accomplish what you have placed us here to do. Bless our fellowship together, bless this gathering, and bless this venture, Lord, for we ask it in thy name. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Aaron. We would, uh, before we do the symbolic uh, turning of the earth, we'd like to uh, recognize some people before we uh, begin. Uh, and if they would hold their hand up or stand wherever they're at. Justin Stevens, who's the regional director for Senator Dan Coates, right here in front of us. And then we have Cindy Zimke, our state representative, uh, District 55. And you've just heard from, from Aaron. We, we're lucky we've got the presiding authorities here from the city and the county. We have our mayor, Leonard Urban. We have Mike Winter, the president of the Bay County uh, County Council, and also uh, Barton Barker, president of the County Commissioners. Barton, where are you at? Right here, right here. We have Melissa Matney, who is the uh, the chairperson for EDG and also the treasurer and a past uh, economic development director. We're glad that she's here today, along with Dr. Hodges, who was serving as the chair and also the interim economic development director when this whole Eric uh, Alex Carroll thing uh, started so we're glad that he's here we'll hear from him Craig Howell the vice chairman for EDG John Baker our city attorney where's John right here okay and uh, also worked with EDG Pam Tharp palladium item right she's here with us uh, Daryl Smith for the News Examiner, Barry Welsh from WIP uh, Radio. And then we have two very important gals that are here today we want to recognize. Being as this is Administrative Assistant Day, we have Brenda Todd. Brenda, where are you at? Here. Right there. She works for the Economic Development Group. And Melissa Callahan who works with the mayor in the city. Where's she? Right here. So we're glad they're here today. Now, before I introduce the mayor, isn't this great? Isn't this a great time when we can break ground on a new venture? It's just, just amazing. It's great. And the great thing about it is I got this new job, the economic development, and I didn't have anything to do with this. <laughs> I just walked in and suddenly we're breaking ground. It's just great. We want to do this as often as we can. I made a comment to a person just a few minutes ago. Wouldn't it be nice if we did this every week? Wouldn't it be great? I would love to do this. So uh, enough from me. We're just so happy and thrilled. This is an exciting day for us and a great day uh, weather-wise for it to happen. I'd like to introduce our mayor, Leonard Urban, and we'll take the program from there. Leonard. My wife says to me whenever she gets on Facebook and somebody's just picking on me real hard and when uh, people are on topics and they're picking up, she says, isn't there anything good about being mayor? And there is something good about being mayor today because uh, we have made new friends with a man from Indianapolis that is a go-getter and that's uh, kind of generic talk for being an entrepreneur that really gets after it and Alex Carroll is one of those people. He's been working with us now for some maybe 10 months and uh, he is going to do great things here on this wonderful piece of land. And this is just the beginning. 
uh, as I told the group down at the uh, City Hall, some of you weren't there, uh, when you have a baby, you have to nurse that baby, and you have to take good care of the baby, see that nothing happens to it, no diseases. We want to nurse this project and keep this project going because this is our future, to grow this project into a great big thing that we can be the world producer of organic growing. And Alex is just the guy to lead that uh, into the future. So uh, I'm thrilled that I got to be the mayor while this happened. Uh, and I'm thrilled that all of you have been a help to us because everybody helps by putting their efforts, their money, and uh, their prayers into these things. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we'd like to now uh, call upon uh, uh, Dr. Hodges to speak. And, and, uh, thank you, Dan. This has been a uh, very exciting uh, journey. Uh, I've been blessed to be a part of this. I remember about 10 months ago, as the Mayor said, uh, we just started talking about this. There were, uh, Aaron was there, and Alex was there, and the mayor, and we just started talking about some possibilities. What are some things that could happen? And as we talked about things that were needed, other people were invited to join the conversation. And at that point in time, we kind of committed to whatever it's going to take to make this work, we're going to see it work. And there's been some roadblocks along the way, but there's been a lot of people involved uh, that have worked very hard to bring us to this point. So it's, it's been fascinating to see from the very conception, here are some possibilities to here we are today that we're ready to break ground on this new venture. And I'm, I'm thrilled to have been a part of it. I thank everybody that's helped work with us. And uh, we're going to continue to watch as this venture with, with Alex Carroll continues to grow. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I, I failed to mention there's there's many uh, members of the economic development group in, uh, in, the, in the group here that I haven't recognized, and I apologize for that. Uh, we'd like to now introduce the, the main event here. Uh, Alex, we're so glad and so happy that you're here, and we'd like to now hear from you before we start turning to smart. Alex? Thank you very much. Um, well, we have kind of a big day here, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I really do want to thank uh, everybody uh, from the Connorsville and Fayette County that really helped uh, facilitate this and make it happen. We had searched uh, in several different areas of the state and really found this to be perfect on, on a lot of different levels for us. Um, we are. Uh, beginning to grow organic vegetables. Uh, mostly salad mix is what we're going to be concentrating on at first. Um, <clears throat> we'll have uh, a uh, main uh, multi-purpose utility building up here to start with and about 18 of uh, our hoop houses up for the end of the year. And that will be what uh, gets us into next year. When this particular uh, first year is over, we expect to be producing as much as about 10,000 pounds of salad mix a month. So, uh, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> so, uh, but as, as we get going, we really see uh, a lot of uh, changes coming up in agriculture over the next couple of decades. Uh, people focused a lot more on what, what's currently today being called uh, an organic vegetable. Really that just means that there are some guaranteed ways from the consumer's perspective of how the vegetable was raised and what was put into the vegetable. And that is absolutely positively the trend that we're going to see over the rest of our lifetimes. We think that the other thing that we'll see is we'll see uh, a lot more mechanism and technology hit the farming industry. Uh, I think we'll see a lot more of our equipment start to become robotic. Uh, I know that's one of the things that we're working on here. Um, we're working with uh, Dr. Hodges and the school system to <coughs> help facilitate 
uh, folks that have uh, agricultural uh, knowledge and also uh, believe it or not in the farming industry a lot of computer and robotic knowledge is going to be needed. So those are things we hope to get done. Thank you, Alex. We'd like for you to grab a shovel. Those are going to photograph. We want you to get the first shovel load of dirt, and then we'll do some, we'll do some different areas. Turned the dirt. We came. We conquered. We're gonna have. We open with a prayer. We're gonna close with a prayer. And we've asked Aaron if he would also conclude us with prayer. And we appreciate everybody coming out and supporting us. And we just look forward to doing this over and over and over as we go on. Connorsville's a great place to live. We're pumped. We're, we're we just feel like we have a great opportunity in front of us. We have the city and the county. Everybody coming together, cooperating. And uh, good things are in store for time. Aaron? Repeat after me, all of us, okay? Father? Father. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for this groundbreaking. Thank you for Alex Carroll. Thank you for Mayor Urban and the leaders of this city. We ask your blessing upon this ground. May it prosper. And may it be a blessing to this area, to this state, and our nation. Amen. Wow, with this many people praying, how can we miss?